privileged to uh, be able to uh, uh, share the message. Uh, I was, <coughs> actually I was tasked to give you Ephesians 2, 1 to 5. And uh, when I was uh, uh, studying it, it's very difficult because it's like the whole chapter of, of chapter 2 of Ephesians has to be all connected. So it's very difficult to be just, just contain from verses 1 to 5. But uh, well, let's try and let's see. Um, Amen. Also, uh, this is actually the gospel. So and I'm sure that uh, most of us most of us are, you know, know the Lord personally, so I can't um, really, you know, say that, but uh, I don't know, but um, I titled my, um, my topic for today, it's, uh, it's a very catchy one, originally I titled it Made Alive in Christ when I called pastor. But I change it to your dead man. <laughs> so just to be catchy. So you're a dead man. You're a dead man. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's read uh, Ephesians 2, chapter 1, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Why don't we all stand up? Let's read God's word. Let's all read it uh, responsibly. Ephesians 2, 1. I'll start. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the grace of the power of the Spirit that now works in the sons of disobedience. Among whom also we all had our conversation, had our past, and the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God has raised mercy and has raised love to live in the love of And even when we are dead, we have quickened us together with Christ by grace we are saved. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for today, for allowing us, Lord, to be here to be a blessing. Turn up your blessings to others, Lord. Lord, I pray that we may be blessed today, Lord. I pray that we'll be able to understand hear your word, understand it, and apply it in our, in our daily walk with you. Once again, Lord, bless our time tonight, Lord, in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 